We are gathered here in the name of Jesus Christ. It is him who draws us to this church of St. Joseph. It is him who draws us together as a faith community uh, this morning. And it is him who calls us to his altar today in a very real way. And it's within that context that we really hear uh, the Gospel of St. Luke today. And Jesus sending out the disciples in pairs, 72. You can imagine, you know, their own excitement of being sent, but also their concerns and fears of being sent. And so that's actually where we begin because each of us have been sent by him to minister in the ministry we are ministering in at this time, each of us. And so taking to heart the gospel for those of us that are taking care of the food warehouse, those of us that are taking care of uh, mothers coming that are with child, those of us coming to uh, work with our schools, with our youth, with our young adults, our families, I can keep going, but you know, you have the idea of what I'm talking about. And he's sending us really in ministry. But he's sending us in a very special way. And he's saying to us, carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. So we have a mission. And the mission he's given to us is the mission that he gave to the disciples right before he ascended to heaven. And that's to make disciples and to baptize all nations in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to teach them to do all that he has commanded us and to know in a very special way that he's with us to the end of the age. Having said that, to realize how he sent the disciples two by two, he also sends us. And so he is really calling the disciples of that day, but also the disciples of now, that's us, to trust in a really profound way. And imagine going to a village that maybe you've never been to, and you're going to try to find a place to stay, and then you're also going to begin preaching to the people and teaching the people what's going on in terms of faith in the world. It's really quite profound. And so each of us in our various ministries, while we may not be sent to a village we don't know, most of us know the villages we have here in our diocese, but there may be people that come into our lives that we don't know, we never expected to see or never expected to meet and to trust that he is with us. And the disciples themselves were able to work profound miracles as they visited each of those villages. And that's actually the invitation for us. Now it may not be the kind of miracle that can turn that particular phone off. <laughs> But it is the kind of miracle, where, not the kind of miracle that has angels singing necessarily, although that can happen. It's more the miracle of relationship that we form with the people whom we serve, that we form with the people whom we minister uh, to. Um, whether it be in finances or youth ministry or our service in Catholic charities, uh, but Delape, our ministry to those that are uh, deaf or those that are in, in need, whatever it may be. And Jesus is saying to us, we need to do it together. That's why he sent them out two by two. So he wasn't sending them out alone. He was sending them out two by two. And so in a very real way, we are in this together as a church. And we are in this together as the body of Christ. And it's moments like this when we come together, and they're, they're not a lot, not a lot of times we do this, but when we come together like this, it's a moment for us 
to, to unite with one another, to be a people of faith together, and to hope together that no matter what we face, no matter what hits us, no matter what's going on, the Lord is with us. And especially to be a sign of his love to everyone that we meet, everyone. Uh, no matter how they look, no matter what's going on in their lives, that we can be there for them. Whatever town you enter, and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. I'm doing a lot, that, a lot of that right now. Cure the sick in it, and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. That last line is really profound. When we think of it in terms of our own work, our own ministry, and our own, the people that come into our lives through the ministry. That we are a sign that the kingdom of God is at hand for you and for them, for me and for them. As we approach the altar today to receive the body and blood of Christ, it is him who has sent us to witness and to serve and to minister to all those people that come in contact with us. And as we receive his body and blood, we are called to take his body and blood to them, that they realize the kingdom of heaven in Jesus Christ is theirs. And that's also the gift given to each of us. If you come up for a communion blessing, or a communion prayer, rather, it is a moment also to open your heart to the love of God and let him touch you in a way that enables you to proclaim the kingdom of heaven is at hand for you. Let's pray for that grace.